Hello, everybody. This was a glimpse into our culture at BMW. It's all about people, power and passion. That is what we are and that is what we stand for. You just saw six short episodes about the BMW iNext, which has now become the BMW iX. This car defines a new era of mobility. All innovations are integrated into a complete system. And we have created by that a very advanced, yet easy to use vehicle. Because technology should serve our customers and you. Technology should drive progress. And progress can overcome challenges. This is especially true for climate protection, one of our ultimate goals. Sustainability is central to everything we do. Therefore, we have transparent and science-based targets. We are lowering the CO2 footprint across the entire value chain, whether it's in the supply chain or our own production system or during the life cycle of the vehicle. Of course, the iX is born electric. It is our flagship of innovation. And now it is time to finally show you the vehicle from the inside and the outside. And now Adrian will tell you more about it. Here we go. So here we are, behind the wheel of the BMW iX. The design phase of this project really started with thinking a lot about the interior atmosphere that we wanted to create. We were inspired by modern architecture. In fact, we wanted to create something like a loft on wheels. So something fairly reduced, cozy seating arrangement, a large flat screen, and not much more, to be honest. The vehicle itself is technologically very, very complicated and is probably the most intelligent vehicle that BMW has ever built. But it's exactly this kind of technology that has allowed us uh, to reduce uh, the interior design dramatically. So what we've done is we were able to reduce the amount of switches. We're not switchless, but we definitely have a lot less switches. Things like ventilation, have been minimized and the screen indeed has grown in size, is curved and has touch functionality. We've also been able to reduce elements by combining them. Um, this wooden surface, for example, is not just a beautiful surface, it also incorporates some micro switches. And this glass object is not just a decorative element, it is our iDrive controller and it also holds uh, touch functionality. So there is functions that don't immediately meet the eye. We call this shy tech. The technology is there, but not so much in your face. So it's the definite opposite of high tech. All in all, we think we have been able to create an interior that will extend your personal private space into the public domain. So now let's have a look at the exterior. Inside profile, the iX looks clean and robust, monolithic almost, like a well-rounded stone with some facets sheared off. The car has a footprint of a BMW X5, the roof height of a BMW X6, and the wheel size of an X7. So for us in design, we felt these were ideal ingredients to create a strong design character. The shape that we've managed to create is not only 
looking clean. It also works very well from an aerodynamic point of view. With this shape, we've managed to achieve a CX factor of 0.25, and that's a new best in this vehicle class. And when you reduce the form language to the extent that we did, all the details matter that much more. Overall, in this shape, we've managed to reduce the number of shot lines, and we've taken great care of every single detail. Things like the door handles, for example, that are completely integrated into the body side, or things like the lamps, where we've created a new and slim light signature, both front and rear, by which you will recognize this vehicle not just as a new BMW, but as the new BMW iX. So with all of this, we believe the iX is much more than a new electric vehicle from BMW i. It is showing how we intend to make mobility more sustainable, more connected, but also easier to use and definitely much more human. As a matter of fact, we believe the vehicle can become an extension of your personal living environment onto four wheels. Oliver? We are really happy that we could show it to you today. It is our new technological blueprint for our future. And the good news is, we will begin production next year. I'm really looking forward to seeing the car on the road. So thank you for joining us today. And last but not least, we have another surprise for you. So stay tuned.